Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the Mind Tree interview experience. This interview happened recently, only on 29th December 2021. So, guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end. Guys, this particular interview experience is of a non-CSIT student, and all the questions that were asked from him was regarding coding only. So, he was asked to share the screen, and coding questions were asked from it. So, make sure that you do not skip any part of this video because lot of questions were asked. So, I will be discussing each question in detail. So, make sure to watch this. till the end and guys i have made a separate playlist on mind tree coding questions slash interview experience on my channel in which i have posted 10 videos i in this eight videos are mind tree interview experiences and two videos are for the coding questions so if you are preparing for the mind tree interview do check out this playlist i will give the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box so make sure to visit it and guys i have recently started my blog channel also and there also i post certain interview experiences for which i am not able to make the videos so do check out the blog also You can see there total three interview experiences have been posted on my blog. The link of this blog also I will give in the description box or in the i button. And guys, if you have not subscribed the channel till now, please subscribe it as well as join all the Telegram groups that are given in the description box because I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was twenty ninth December two thousand twenty one. That is recently only. The duration of the entire interview was thirty minutes. This uh, interview was long because many coding questions were asked, and uh, the candidate was asked to write the code for the same. Now, the branch of my friend was non CS, that is triple E. So the first question was which programming language you are comfortable with. So guys, in this particular interview, no such things like projects or introduce yourself were asked. Sim directly they jumped to the programming section that which programming language you are comfortable with. So my friend said that he is comfortable with C plus plus. Okay. So then the interviewer asked to, uh, asked him to share his screen and open an online compiler for writing the codes. And now there will be series of codes that he was writing. So first code was code for, uh, write the code for the multiplication of two matrices. So guys, again it's a very common question you will find on, you will find on Google. But I have written the main logic in this particular loop only. So if you are comfortable, you can simply take the screenshot and save it for yourself for later use. Or I will again I will try to give the link of the entire question in the description box. You can simply visit that link and you can see what is the question and how you have to take input output and what is the main logic. So this particular part, this particular picture is only the main logic for this particular code. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now, next question was code for sorting of characters in an array without using built-in functions. So guys, we all have sorted the arrays, uh, but they contain the number. Like there are five, four, three, two, one, and we have to sort this array into uh, what you say in ascending order. But now, what we have uh, we are doing. we have to sort the array that contains character now how we will be sorting the array based on characters so what we'll do we'll simply take their sci values for sorting so if uh, we know that the capital a is equivalent to uh, the sci value is 65 and uh, capital c sci value is 67 so it means that a is less than c because the because of sci value so based on this this sci value only we will be sorting the array of characters now again this is the main logic that how we are sorting the characters if you will look closely it it is a bubble sort technique that we are using for sorting the characters in an array so i hope uh, this question is also clear to you next is code for finding the second largest number in an array so guys uh, th there are many methods for doing such particular uh, question first of all you what you can do you can simply traverse the array twice first you will find the maximum and then you will finding the uh, next maximum so tra tra traversing the array twice now there is another method in which you can simply sort the array and return the second last element so that will be the second largest element so uh, this i think uh, this thing is also clear to you now the main method uh, or you can say the effective approach for solving this question that is finding the second largest number is this that is what you do you will take the two variables first and second and you will initialize them to int min int min is the lowest possible value of any integer but you now what you will do you will traverse an array single only single time only and every time you will check for these two conditions first is if arr of i is less greater than first what does first represents first represents the highest element in an array so it means that if our current element is greater than the highest element that is first then what will happen now the current maximum now the current maximum will become the second best that is second is equal to first and our first will now be updated to arr of i that is the current element so this is the case for uh, finding the 
uh, first and second elements but there can be another case also in which our ARR of i that is the current element is greater than second element second but but it is less than equivalent to first so in that case only our second element will get updated so again I will try to give the link of this question in the description box of geese for geese link will be there so you can simply visit that link and see for yourself that how this logic is working but for the main logic this is the particular thing that you will be looking for so I hope uh, this thing is clear to you now we will move into the next question now next question is write the code for the bubble sort so guys bubble sort again bu the code for the bubble sort is same as that we have uh, seen for the sorting of characters this is the same uh, loop that you will be writing in bubble sort it doesn't matter whether there are array, array of integers as uh, there are array of characters the code will remain same now guys but the main part here I want to highlight is that for any interview you are going and if you know that in that particular thing technical questions will be asked so you must know all the sorting techniques with their explanation with their uh, uh, time complexities and with their uh, uh, algorithm that what are they so there is bubble sort insertion sort math sort quick sort insertion sort is there so all these sorting algorithms must be on your tip because any of these sorting algorithm can be asked from you in an interview so therefore I have included this question that what is the code for bubble sort so I hope this question is clear to you now next is which sorting technique is better and why so guys there are many sorting techniques and always there is will be one best technique so in this case there is a tie or you can say some say it is a quick sort some say it is a merge sort now quick sort uh, does uh, the only the worst case uh, average case complexity of quick sort is o of n log n but in merge sort what we do all the average as well as the worst case complexity is also n log n but in merge sort what happens merge sort takes extra space whereas quick sort does not take extra space so there is always a trade off between quick sort and merge sort so you can tell to the interviewer anything you can say quick sort but there should be a valid answer for your uh, for your thing so again i will try to give this link in the description box so that you can visit this link and see for yourself okay now the last question was on sql query the co uh, what is the query the query should return the maximum salary from each engineering department from the employees table of an institute so let's suppose there is a table in which there are two columns one is department and another one is uh, salary so uh, first one is name of the department and second one is salary so how we will find the max salary from each department so this is the query I have written for you you can simply take the screenshot for the same select max salary name from table name group by name so this will fetch different departments and it will give you the max salary from each department so these were all the questions which are asked in this mind tree interview you can see that all the coding questions were asked and then uh, theory questions like oops dbms part were asked uh, also the query was also asked to write so i hope this video will help you in preparing for your interviews and guys if you wish to see more interview experiences you can always visit my channel always uh, whether it is blog or whether it is youtube channel or there are a lot of mind interview experiences are present there will be of selected candidates who those candidates who have given recently so kindly visit to all these things and you will be good to go for the interviews guys if you like the video kindly subscribe the channel and please hit the like button and also share this video among your friends so that, so that they can also prepare thank you for watching this video